<laughs> well, hello there. My name is Vladimir. Welcome to my home studio. And today I'm joined by Taneli from the band KLS. Hi there. You might know him from the Bias FX videos we did. We had a lot of fun and he's experimenting with a new pedal board for the band's acoustic setup. Those guys do quite a lot of acoustic sets as well and I guess it makes sense to go crazy with that setup as yeah. well. <laughs> Actually, yeah, so a um, month ago we were playing with a band called NNS. In Finnish we pronounce it Ananas. And Ananas so, is Ananas. pineapple. <laughs> yeah, as you might know. And the band lineup was uh, acoustic guitar, drums, keyboard and an MC. And the acoustic guitar player was using this bus OC3 with the poly mode. And um, it got me interested. Uh, should I try it also? I borrowed it from my friend and uh, here we are. This is the <laughs> setup which I planned in my head. This is actually the first time when I play with the real uh, audio system. So now I can hear both of the channels. Oh yeah, yeah, you tried it through your bass amp, but it had like one yeah. input. I had problems with that. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good, like... I, I've i played acoustic guitar through like a setup where there were compressors and reverbs and such, but it wasn't good as this one. Yeah. Why don't we kind of go through the signal chain? Let's start with the guitar. Okay, this is Yamaha something. I don't know <laughs> what is this. The, model or some I just bought it uh, like 15 years ago <laughs> it cost me about 160 euros um, but I'm I'm used to <laughs> play with that <laughs> um, it got a K and K pure mini pickup mm. and uh, it's actually uh, much more expensive to pick up than this guitar so <laughs> this is the normal sound without a without any effects Signal is split in the OC3 and the direct out it is the guitar sound. It's go first to the MXR temp and the equalizer. It gives some uh, more clarity in the high end and I cut some of the lower mix mm. here. And after that, as a reverb, Boss Air V6. I use the shimmer mode and I control it with this Roland expression pedal so it controls the effect level. And the shimmer mode in this uh, reverb pedal is uh, quite uh, nasty, I guess, if you mm. put a tone in a normal, normal mode, it's quite. Oh wow! <laughs> it hurts. It hurts your eyes. So I, <laughs> I put it somewhere in the clock eight or nine. And this is the channel two. It goes to the right channel of this uh, clock stereo DI box. And the bass, uh, and the bass line comes from the OC three to this EBS compressor and then it's the left yeah. channel. Uh, yeah. And on this one you're using the what I don't know what the it's MB. It's multiband. Ah. Actually I don't know <laughs> I don't remember what it what it does but it sounds good enough. It compresses different bands differently. Yeah. I don't know how that works in a pedal like this but yeah. that's the basic idea. So here is the OC3's uh, bass. When you are using the poly mode, you have to be really, uh, really precise with the range mode. It controls the where it uh, uses the bass notes. If you play like ah. this, and now it cuts off. Oh, that's nice. That's really cool. So I can play a D chord here with the bass. Also in. So we heard a little bit in the beginning, like everything on that he uses. Yeah. 
why not listen to some more? I can actually kind of show you the left and right signal separately or right what's happening. Actually, you have to learn a whole new, <laughs> whole new style to play, because you can't can't play with the one or more uh, more uh, bass chords like this. If oh, you yeah, accidentally yeah. play with G's, uh, like the G chord with the D, it sounds like you have to play only this uh, uh, three higher. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't. To uh, mute many strings, <laughs> when you play it. So, <laughs> so it doesn't track like every single. Yeah, you have to properly. think much more when you're playing it. Oh, <laughs> plan, <laughs> plan some. Interesting. Yeah, but it's a good way if you have if you're playing like troubadour concerts or. Acoustic guitar and uh, some percussion shit. Set, set. <laughs> some percussion <laughs> shit. You don't need need a bass player. Do you actually usually have a bass player in your acoustic set? Yeah. Oh. We also play in uh, some. Sometimes we play concerts with. There's only three of us, so then it's only two acoustic guitar and uh, and the vocals. So I maybe will use this setup for the trio concerts. But if you are playing with the bass player, so <laughs> you don't need the OC three. Mm. Then. Unless you want to add the higher octave or something. Yeah, yeah, maybe <laughs> go crazy with that. Uh, just for fun, can you demonstrate some other modes on the OC3? Except Maybe yes, I've never used those. Uh, there's also... It's a drive mode, I don't know how the... Let's explore yeah. and see what happens. No, oh, we don't do that. Do that. Something happened. Maybe a little, wow. a little less. That uh, was interesting. so useful setup for it. There's also uh, the Octa OC2 mode. Ah, which does things. Yeah. I guess it creates the one octave <laughs> lower also, it's two <laughs> octaves down so now. My speakers 
can't handle this anymore, yeah. I think. I don't know how many uses this, because when I'm using the octave pedal, I mostly use only the octave down below, mm. maybe octave up. But this mode, mode is only the two octaves down, so... Mm. I guess now it's only the two octaves down. And there's noticeable latency on this one for some reason. Maybe not so useful for, for me. <sighs> no. But the basic one octave down sounds quite good for, in my opinion. That's actually quite nice. Yeah. Maybe it will work, it will work better without the compressor. Like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not so useful with acoustic guitar. Yes. So we are going back to poly mode. So yeah, it was. It's it's, it's the best. Yeah. So the poly mode it makes it the pedal very useful for many occasions. I get. I mm -hmm. think uh, if you need some something like only the one octave lower, you can find better octave pedals. But that this poly mode is quite good, mm. for my opinion. And it allows you to have like kind of quite versatile setup. Like when you. You can do like an intro of the song with the octave thing and when the bass player comes in you can take it off yeah. and you still have the shimmer thing and everything going on and and especially if you're playing as a trio with no bass player this is really cool yeah. because you get kind of a wider sound spectrum and the trio thing will sound bigger I guess yeah nice yeah. I try to play something I learned in like 20 years ago and <laughs> play thing. It's quite fun to practice with this. Mm -hmm. You really have to <laughs> pay, pay attention <laughs> for your right hand on what strings are you playing. So yeah, if you hit the wrong bass string, yeah. you get kind of kind of a wrong yeah, note if you, from the if bass Yeah, if you hit two bass strings, it's all all muddy up after that. You have to mute the right string, mm. strings, and it's quite useful for any playing. <laughs> Thank you.
That sounds good. I want this kind of setup too. You can buy this one. No. Cheap. <laughs> no, but this is like, it's not that expensive actually. Like, yeah. you can get these used for, I don't know. Well, I'm not going to guess the prices, but... Yeah, but it's quite cheap, uh, cheap and uh, you can use any uh, any compressor, any EQ pedal, any reverb mm. you want. This is the main, uh, main part for this sound is this yeah. active, active pedal. Yeah. I'll put links in the description. You can get any of these pedals if you want to, or get something similar. I guess this is the key to this whole setup. Yeah. It's fun. I think we'll wrap up. Thanks for demonstrating this. I'm excited about the acoustic guitar now. <laughs> I need more pedals. I'll hopefully get some when I'll be in Germany in a few weeks. I don't know why I'll be there, but we'll talk about that later. Mysteries! Thanks to Tanali. Hit the subscribe button. That will be probably somewhere over my face or somewhere over Tanali's face. There will be other videos I've done. Thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Don't <laughs> me